Giờ sao tôi đón mà phải đi làm nhiệm vụ của cái bà kia Cái bà trong bức tượng mất bơ cái cái gương á Bà đó đó I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, sao giống cái phòng phát học riêng của mình mới vậy
cô nghĩ đâu nếu mà kiểu khó đi làm quét kính á thì chắc có lẽ là anh hảo thế rồi when you have a moment please come and talk to deek à nó chỉ nhắn nét nè hello deek You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. That sounds a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from tomes and scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Hey,
होती है Black noted the scuff on his shoe yesterday.
rồi chứ thằng xe bác kia nó giật mình đi tới đây á thì mình đi bộ thì không nói còn thằng này bây giờ có driver hết rồi mình quay cái đi bộ nữa get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. to look at here. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.
nhiều game hàng đây suy nghĩ có nên chơi hàng không chưa chó một số ngày bên heo bên heo bên heo quậy con game cờ ra tám là cô lũy nào mà còn ngủ khác chơi game đó nghĩ sao vậy Đây con game đó khóa ác cho chơi được Muốn có con ớt thì đủ người khác mà chơi chứ Are you ready to breathe the beat? I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen Excellent! Now To breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Wait, you're here. never grows tired of the room's surprises. Mm. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Owen will never believe this.
Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals, Deke? Release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished.
Holy resource me. indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ủa chưa trang trí à? Rồi. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Hey, ma. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What? What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking yeah, about Hogwarts yeah. Founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Yeah. Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. Yeah. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. 
You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin, and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You, you wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with three. Fringo. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Alohomora. Braziers are involved. <laughs> Some I do that occasionally. Pavilion. 
more. Revelio may help. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa.
Đấy, cái đó mất công mất thời gian tôi sẽ phải lên youtube cho mò đúng rồi anh em I hope I... we don't regret this Sebastian over here These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Let me see your share. You went to the house and begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Incendio! Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. Incendio! By that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics on this. Confringo! Incendio! Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Cái gì chị ba cái ngọn lửa đó? Phải đái thì. What are you playing at? A journal entry signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. Mm. I know. Prepare. She was my aunt. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Oh. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. A 
There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Incendio! Dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Journal entry. It mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. I see my boy. the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <coughs> nice work. Oh, no. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Nox 
Nocturne references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice Almost. work. Incendio. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Revelio. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Lumos.
Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. Spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll Abelia. die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. Lumos. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? You know him better than I do. Very well. Wish me luck. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yeah, okay. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. Whoever you cast it upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The spell won't work unless you mean it. Revelia. That's true of all unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait. You didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Wow. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can I cast this if I am. have to. I don't want to learn the curse, but I can handle the pain. It's fine. Cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. I can't believe we're here. Yeah. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. 
This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't leave it here. Let's find a way out. Please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without yeah, both of you, you we now. never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. <gasps> About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. What? What? Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. Don't poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. 
She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... We don't regret this. No, I Sebastian, going. over oh. here. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Send you. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Fringo. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, Incendio. three heads are better than one. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can I hear and I speak know. to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability. A journal entry. Between the two of you, why not your gorms? feel left out. Gorms? Between the two Ominous. of us? Your fat? I... Never mind. I know. She was my Ominous. aunt. The journal you mentions knew? many challenges ahead. Me. That's why no I said the way for dangerous. Like a maze. Salazar Hidder is most likely what it is to be different. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Aunt uh, Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <laughs> nice work. Lumos. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. She was my favorite person in the world. work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos.
This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being in Welcome, another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice Lumos. work. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Akio! Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. Lumos. The part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Bevelio. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucios etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Revelia. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can. I 
ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Survive. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe okay. we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. See a way out. Best news I've heard all day. <gasps> Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. Revelia. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you.
đen mà đóng thân luôn Đóng thân của thằng anh của gì Ủa thằng 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 hồi nãy cái thằng mà bắt bị bù ấy Ông quanh tên đây
studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in yeah. Undercroft. Yeah. I found something. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after Charms class. He's, he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always Why? making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof, his feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, no, escaped a dragon, wow. and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. Go, 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 so, will you help us? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's yeah, sarcophagus yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Rockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. Oh, my God. 
đang bị ao răng rất khó chịu quá bị cái tháng này rồi Natty told Hello. me what the two of you did. High wings fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the hogshead, and did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hongdao Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging Nhỏ about all the gold they're making at the expense of innocent creatures, là, undoubtedly. The poacher spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched Quang, around a bit, Quang, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. <gasps> A centaur. Tread carefully. An entire yeah. castle to roam, yet you oh. choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Man, uh, do you man, take uh, us for fools? Uh, that we do not notice more and more of your kind ah. around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. Oh if anything, oh, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they okay, work okay, with. Okay. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind. And the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we could find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelts. They can't have been gone long.
Revelio. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Ha, anything interesting? Poachers were here, all sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling <gasps> about this. <coughs> How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use this illusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? What? Hard to say from up here. Oh, Let's get a better view. lay of the land. Taking bets and spreading the word, ah, given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Have you heard from your family? 
There's even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Send it. Ah. Goblins, Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Oh, oh, must have only just She's putting up quite the fight. What a fair Let's even her out, shall we? Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. A little more.
of her restraint. in black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. <gasps> Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Cái này là có 500 tuổi rồi, quái Đứng gồng à Đứng mà 
It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress em thấy chưa chơi game này nếu mà muốn hoàn thành mấy cái kia mất gần cái trăm giờ chơi đó đừng có đỡ vậy đâu là hơn đâu là gần sắp năm giờ chơi hơn rồi đó có nghĩ là vậy tại vì tôi làm quét chậm hơn người ta chứ không phải tôi làm quét nhanh Còn nếu muốn nhanh đó, phải bỏ thời gian ra chơi và bỏ và lúc đầu á mình chọn nhà phải chọn nhà xe lên tin á nhà rắn á nhưng mà tôi đâu có chọn nhà rắn chơi game này vui này chơi game chứ không phải chơi game cái kiểu uh, chơi phải đảo cho nhanh no. chơi vậy chơi chi đẹp phải biết dẫn mình đi đâu nữa cứ đi thôi cô 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 bị trưởng So this is the underground harbor. Oh, chỗ này là đưa mấy đám học sinh đây nè. Anh em có nhớ là kỳ chị hay đứa tơ cái đéo nào mình phải bơi vậy? Ủa? Ủa? The great lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Revelio. nhiều đéo giờ bắt mình bơi vậy lạnh vãi cái trên cơ
Nej, nej det är det. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. My mother would like to I believe she has learned. She may be easier on me if you are there. Revelio, can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Broomsticks. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. Did she now? Oh, I'll give you this book no. if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh. They don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! 
Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snuggery. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? The pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The founder's relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, Hello, the Deathly man. Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Snitch. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Oh, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things Ooh, such as one. age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. Uh, and I won't yeah, be giving right you now, any more easy questions uh, either. Now, the next yeah, ones will be more difficult. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Avelio ought to make quick work of this. Want to test your knowledge on some more difficult questions? I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. Revelio. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah. as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just 
perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous yes, witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Oh, you found it, man. I'm so much You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Oh, Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful, uh, yes, as I suspected they would be. Yes, now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Yeah, Protecting you. so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost oh, for information yeah. connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Mm -hmm. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something uh -huh. told me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Oh, Rồi cảm ơn mọi người theo dõi nha. Hôm nay cái cái tập này là hai tiếng đó. Ủa.